Hello again. Today I would like to introduce to you author who was the first person in Arabic world to win a Nobel Prize for Literature in 1988. And this author is Nagib Mahfuz. He was born in Cairo, Egypt in 1911 and I would like to take you to this short introduction with some authenticity, authentic streets of Egypt where most of the events in his books happening and to have this short experience with me. He was the seventh and the youngest child with four brothers and two sisters. His father, whom Matthews described as having been old-fashioned, was a civil servant and Matthews eventually followed in his footsteps in 1934. Matthews' mother who was literate herself, took the boy Matthews on numerous excursions to cultural locations such as the Egyptian Museum and the Pyramids. The Egyptian Revolution of 1919 had a strong effect on the author, although he was at the time only seven years old. Author himself said that the one thing which most shook the security of my childhood was the 1919th revolution. In 1930s, Matthews was admitted to Egyptian University, now known as Cairo University, where he studied philosophy, graduating in 1934. In his works, he described the development of his country in the 20th century and combined intellectual and cultural influences from East and West. His written works covered a broad range of topics, including socialism, homosexuality and God. Writing about some of these subjects was prohibited. One of his most famous works is the Cairo Trilogy. The novels depict the life of the patriarch El Said Ahmed Abdel Gawad and his family over three generations from World War I to the 1950s when King Farouk was overthrown. In the books you can see how the social structure of the Egypt and how the generations were changing and how they were shifting. You can learn a lot about Egyptian culture, about how it was changing over those decades. You have to read it. By the way, those streets which I showed in the video are from Hurghada city. Even if those are not the streets of Cairo, I think there are a lot of similarities and you can grasp some authenticity. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope you find something of interest. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you would like me to talk about any specific topic or if you would like me to review a specific book. And give a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. Thank you. And uh, you know.